What are the odds that you watch the trailer of a film starring two very promising actors with almost diametrically opposite acting textures? You gauge the excitement among the masses around the film is lukewarm. You enter the cinema hall with no extraordinary expectations and to your own surprise, you leave the hall stunned, flabbergasted and applauding. Today, Cinemama not only reviews for you but urges you to watch this film that released a day ago and is in theaters right now. It might just sit easily with the excellent classic slow burns like Nightcrawler, Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and nearly belongs to Bajoyan Ambiya's league of films like Shaitan, Devan and Vazir. Directed impeccably by the debutant Anirudh Ayer, I review for you today the brash yet suave, one of the most original films of the recent times from the Hindi film industry and action hero. Before we move to the review, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified about films you must watch when you can't think of any. Film starts with R.A.W. officers from India coming all the way to London to arrest an Indian film star who is absconding, who they strangely find doing planks while in handcuffs. They get a hold of this film star on the charges of murder and start investigating him privately. This film star is Manav, played by Ayushman Quran who is the action hero of the film industry. The one who is brimming full of his real life personality even in real life is generally rude to his staff and is as entitled as it gets. He walks the character that he is in all the time and makes sure that he remains the talk of the town with multiple reasons. Manav arrives in Mandoti town of Haryana for shooting some film sequences accompanied by his manager Roshan played by Harsh Chaya who stands by and serves Manav loyally and is more of a friend than a manager to Manav. Elections are approaching in Mandoti at the same time and one of the fans of Manav is Vicky, the short tempered arrogant younger brother of Mandoti councillor Bhura, played by Jaydeep Alavat. Vicky goes on set location of the film Manav is shooting for and Vicky is pissed off with the way he has been made to wait long hours for just a small conversation and photograph with his favourite film star Manav. Angry at him, Vicky follows Manav on a lonely road. An argument ensues between the two and Vicky gets killed in an accident. Horrified by the incident, Manav immediately charters a plane from Haryana to Mumbai and from there he escapes to London, fearing that in India he might get arrested for Vicky's murder and all the fame that he has achieved over the years will go down the train overnight. Seething with grief and anger over alleged killing of his younger brother, Bura vows to take Manav down to avenge his brother's death and he sets out for London to find Manav and kill him before police finds Manav and put him in judicial custody. Now at this point, Manav, though accidentally, has killed Vicky and Bura, irrespective of the truth, is hellbent on killing Manav. How does this confrontation between Bura and Manav end? Is Manav guilty? Does Bura avenge the death of his brother? What happens to Manav the superstar when he is captured by the police for the crime that he has done or he has not done. The film successfully answers all these questions over the course of time. An action hero, first and foremost, is breathtakingly original and becomes a genre of its own. At several points in the film, you can't help but be blown away by how intelligently the film succeeds in becoming relevant and relatable in 2022. The recent, especially post-pandemic era in which we have seen the film industry being roughed up by media houses for being a perpetrator of substance addiction, cultural deterioration and pompousness of it, all driven by a synergy of media houses and a sect of blatant opinionated masses has been captured through a beautiful satire of which Manav is at the center. A plethora of current social issues, including those of fake news, DRP-driven media houses, the communist perspectives of and the expectations from the show business and those belonging to it, cultural ideology in some parts of India and their shortcomings, and last but not the least, the notorious affiliation of film industry with the underworld. All of these have been addressed with hilarious, sometimes over-the-top but precise sequences in Manav's post-accident life. One of the biggest highlights of the film is Bhura's character that tightly packs different facets of being a vengeful political figure who has been on pursuit of a superstar who killed his brother. His character nuances peel off like layers of an onion throughout the film and it becomes his own film that decides on why is it that he actually wants to kill Manav. Is it really the vengeance? Is it the power? Is it the ego? Or is it just his basic nature? An intelligent, in fact an extremely intelligent writing is what takes the cake in my opinion. Laced with writing decisions that could have gone south for the filmmakers with the slightest streak of casual work, the writers Anirudh Ayer and Neeraj Yadav managed to look at an otherwise straightforward cop and goon chase with numerous lenses, almost like a non-linear storytelling but with all the perspectives progressing at the same time. And that is where the intelligence of keeping one lens separate from the other comes in, while making sure that each lens, may it be psychological, satirical, social, emotional or intellectual, has the impact that it intends to have on the viewer. At some points in the film, I did feel that the logic is missing, but when you think on it better, you realize the point that those sequences were trying to make. I really feel that a better editing could have acted as an emulsifier 
in really bringing together the different aspirations that the film has in terms of what it wants to be called. But an impeccable storyline and sharp twists, along with brilliant performances by the two powerhouses, make up for the lackluster editing. I somewhere feel that to conveniently bias the ending towards one character, the other character has been let go of unfairly. The conclusion of the characters could have been so much more weighted and defined, but with all the intelligent plot decisions that film throws at your face, you barely get time to realize this. Background music, though amazing, is way too much. I mean, after a certain point in the film, we thoroughly realize that we are sitting in a mystery thriller. The music shouldn't have to overemphasize on the mystery element by blaring itself out loud, even where it is not necessary. All in all, an action hero is a story of a real-life action hero becoming a real-life action hero under crazy circumstances. But everything that you think you can assume about or figure out about what an action hero as a film or as a story has to offer, all of it gets over well before the interval. I was actually in a soup thinking that just 40 minutes into the film, all that I could make out from the trailer is over. So what is it that remains? And that is where the actual film starts. And that is where an action hero becomes the film that you should not be missing. An action hero essentially is not just a film, but a homage to filmmaking with how it becomes not only an entertainer, but a storyteller and a communicator in equal right. So that's all from Cinemama this week. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And do watch an action hero in the theatres near you. I shall meet again soon with a review of a film that I feel you should definitely watch. Till then, here's my most favourite scene from the film for you. Ah, 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 ah. Manav? Ah. Ye kaun hai? Vicky ka bhai. Kaun Vicky? Tu kaun hai? Kadar. Kaun Kadar? Sare kisene to pichhaan le. Hum sare chuti hai ga, tu ne maarne nikle hai.